So welcome to our 11th iMovie episode. Today we'll be working on the Matrix bullet dodging technique used by Agent Smith in the movie The Matrix. It can all be done in iMovie, you just need a green screen. So if you got good green screen practice, we'll be ready to go. So here's how we're going to do it. First off, we'll need our background layer. I'm just going to use a picture right now. There we go. And as you can see, it comes default with that Ken Burns effect. Remember how to get rid of it? You click on the little gear, click on cropping, Ken Burns, and rotation, and you can click on one of these. Now you can use video footage as the background layer, but you have to remember to use a green screen outdoors, and you have to make sure you're filming the exact same spot without any actor or green screen setup. You need a blank background. That's the important part. You need a blank background. Okay, so now we have our background footage. I am going to change the duration to a little longer so we have a little more time to work with. So now let's grab our green screen footage. Here I am dodging. Grab that, drop it in place. Since I'm using a green screen and not a blue screen, I use green screen. Now, as you can see, like before, we have a huge mess of the quality of the green screen I use. But if you remember from our previous tutorials, we can fix that right up. First off, I'm going to click on the green box, click cropped, move these around so we can make sure we have one clean slate of background. Click done. Now, to improve the quality, I'm going to double click on the green footage, go to video and change the green down and up. Alright, so now I'm a bit better quality, nothing to brag about at all, but good enough for tutorial purposes. If you spend a lot more time on the effect and a lot more time setting up your green screen, you can do a much better job than I did here. This was filmed maybe a couple years ago when I was first learning how to edit movies. So as you can see, it's two layers big, and that means we can't add any more. Our first layer is our background, our second layer is our green footage. So we're going to have to do the multiple picture-in-picture -picture technique from before. So I'm going to go Share, Export Movie. I'm going to do OK Quality for now. Save it on the desktop. Now while this is exporting, I would like to remind you, if you are doing this effect outside with a green cloth outside, the green screen quality is going to be so much better. The sunlight has nice even lighting. Just remember not to stand too close to your green screen. Things like that. Just remember my tips and tricks from before. So here's the annotation for it. Just make sure you watch that if you have any questions about green screens in iMovie. All of them are answered in there. So now our footage is exported, so I have it right here on my desktop folder. Just drag your exported footage and put it into your iMovie event library. So here it is down at the bottom of our event library. So what we're going to do now is select our footage, drag it, and go to our background layer. Let go of the mouse button and click on replace. This thing will pop up saying we've modified our project. Well, just hit OK. Of course, we've modified our project. So as you can see, the green screen quality did improve because we stacked the layers in place on top of each other. But that's not the point of the tutorial. If you're interested in improving the quality of your green screen footage, I have an episode from before that you can watch. Here's the little pop up for it. So go ahead and watch that. But we're going to focus on the matrix effect. Now, as you can see, the first layer has our self and our background footage and a green layer has you know just our self. What we're going to do is click on the green box and slide it over a couple frames. After we slide it over so you can see unclick the green box, move your mouse around and now we have the splitting of ourselves like in the movie The Matrix. And there we have it. That's basically how you do that effect. This takes a bit of practice. Don't expect to get it flawless on your first try. It all comes down to how well you set up your green screen, how good your lighting is. 
what kind of camera you used, the frames per second, how fast you moved, your clothing, a lot of factors. If you can get this effect perfectly done in iMovie, you basically have the green screen and blue screen features of iMovie mastered because this effect takes all of the concepts and put them in together so i wish you guys luck if you guys do a great green screen special effects send it to me in a youtube message i'd be more than happy to see it and stay tuned for the next imovie tutorial so thank you for watching be sure to subscribe i make a imovie tutorial every two weeks make sure you hit like so other knows this is a good tutorial you can follow me on twitter if you want to get updates that way Make sure to check out the description. I put a lot of work into the description. It provides a nice outline for the tutorial. Frequently asked questions are answered in there. If your question is not answered in the description, feel free to leave a comment and I will do my best to respond. If you have a special effects request, also post that as a comment. So once again, thanks for subscribing. I look forward to helping you with your movies and your future projects.